Hi there. <laughs> Do you feel a little bit bored? <laughs> Besides the anxiety over the coronavirus, uh, you may be at a time right now that you're pretty bored. You may be used to just getting up and doing what you want to do, hop in a car, going where you want to go, go out for a walk, doing, doing whatever. Go out uh, to have dinner, go out to have lunch. But things are changing, aren't they? The question is, how are we going to use the time in our hands now when we really are experiencing a lot of restriction? Well, here are some suggestions. First of all, recognize, uh, like on Sundays, you're used to going to church. Well, now we find that we have to have the church, in a sense, come to us. And by that, I'm talking about the worship service because you are the church. Uh, you are the church scattered at this moment. You don't no longer have the opportunity of being the church gathered. So your pastor may be sending messages. Uh, they may be doing s different things remotely. But if not, here are some other suggestions. And recognize there are a lot of believers all over the world that are very restricted. They can't go out and have a worship service. They can't go out and do whatever they want to do. There, there are restrictions in their lives. The second thing you can do is to spend more time in God's Word. Now, we all have our own excuses as to why I don't read the Bible, why I don't study the Bible. Very, very busy. But now, you are probably at home. And you may still be working at home remotely, but this may be the time to spend more time in the scriptures and allow the Spirit of God to teach you his word. Another thing you can do is spend more time in prayer, praying for your family, praying for your friends, for your neighbors, praying for their safety, praying that God will help them use their time well. Another way I find in the book of Ephesians, as the Apostle Paul is writing, he says this, be very careful how you live. Now that word live is a Greek word, parapeteo, which just means how you are walking, how you are governing your life. Be very careful, not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity. That phrase, making the most, as I looked it up, has something to do more with holy living, living to the full, living where you experience God's best, making the most of every opportunity. And that, that word for opportunity is a word that means the season in which you are at the present time. You and I are in a very different season than we were just a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, we could hop in a car and go where we wanted to go. If we wanted to go out to have lunch, if we wanted to go to a movie, if we wanted to go to church, all these options were open to us. We could do it. But now we have all these restrictions and we may even feel a little bit claustrophobic just being in our house. But these are opportunities. This is a season of our lives where we can get closer to the Lord, get closer to our families, and spend more time with our friends, either through social media or pick up the phone and talk with them. We all need encouragement. So any way you can think of, how can I encourage my family? How can I encourage my friends? How can I even encourage my neighbors that I can't actually go out and knock on the door and talk to them? Make the most of this season. Remember, when the Apostle Paul was in prison, in the book of Philippians, he says, rejoice always and again I say rejoice. You might scratch your head and say, Paul, how can you rejoice? You are confined, you were restricted. But even in that confinement, he was able to rejoice because he was spending so much more time with his creator, with his savior. So I hope you find this helpful. Uh, 
instead of tearing your hair out, instead of just getting so angry that you can't do the things you want to do, make the most of your time, the season of your life. Use the time to get to know your family better, get to know your Lord better, and get to know his word a lot better. Thanks for watching.